guys, welcome back to Rap Lab. This is episode one of our how to series. We have this 2019 Audi S5 in this beautiful red. Um, as you can see, it's got a lot of chrome. So we're gonna do a chrome delete. We're gonna put some carbon fiber mirrors on it. And we're gonna put an RS5 grill on it and then a black um, S5 logo. So we're gonna show you how to do all that. So I'm gonna hand it over to boss man, Danny, AKA Big Papa. He's gonna, he's gonna take <laughs> no, you through. Don't put that in the video. <laughs> I have to okay. now. <laughs> Prepping it, wrapping it, cutting it, tucking it, all that. Um, all right, so how to chrome delete. Step one, wash the car. So we do two bucket wash, foam cannon. Already, steps already been done, so we won't replicate that again, but pretty much take microfiber, spray some alcohol on it. Doesn't matter what, it could be ISO 70, it could be ISO 90. Um, spray it on the towel, pretty much make sure that you get everything in. So take your fingernail, get underneath the chrome, Make sure everything around the chrome delete strips is super clean, so any areas that the wrap could touch, so like down and through here. Another easy way to do it is take your tuck tool. So this is already wet with ISO. Put it over the tuck tool and then stick it in the groove and then just go all the way through. You can see we got some extra dirt off that normally you wouldn't see underneath there. So. Make sure you get everything to be sparkly clean. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe this a number of times until this comes out looking whiter than this strip did. So keep going back and forth. You're gonna notice that the microfiber is still gonna be black. Just keep doing it until it turns out clear. So okay. we'll do that across the whole thing and then we'll show you guys how to label it. Right, so a couple tools you'll need for a proper chrome delete. So this is a wrap glove. Tuck tools, so I like using this from Pro Wrap Stick and then these ones as well. Pretty much this helps you tuck the chrome delete into the seam areas and then it also helps out with cleaning a lot. Wrap blade, we like to use 30 degree blades here. Just a little bit better of a point, easier to cut. And then if you want to use a squeegee, you can. That's where the wrap glove comes in handy. You can just push the chrome delete strip with your finger when you apply it instead of using a squeegee, but to each their own. So the other thing you'll need is chrome delete rolls. So these come in two inch rolls, three inch rolls, and four inch. For this particular one, we'll use a two inch just because the strip is fairly tiny. So shouldn't need too much. Now we've already done the cleaning and everything. So I'll show you guys how to apply the first strip. So one final wipe down right before I lay the piece. So use the wet portion of the microfiber and then take the dry portion going behind it. So take the strip out, measure out as much as you need. Usually I just roll it out like this. How much excess would you give? Um, like two inches maybe? Like an inch and a half maybe. Okay. So peel back. And then start on one side, doesn't really matter what side. Okay, got that corner tacked down. Grab from the inside. And then this is where the wrap glove comes in handy. Just push it down with your thumb and then keep going all the way down. So I'm just pushing right down the middle. So notice how I don't tuck the sides, just right down the middle. So take your squeegee. We put felt buffers on our squeegees just so we don't scratch any of the wrap we're laying. So this is 3M Chrome Delete. It does have a protective cap on it. You can install this with the cap, which we do all the time. And then right before I cut, I'll show you guys how to take the cap off. So essentially, this is the edge. Take your finger and kind of push it up to where the chrome strip ends, which would be right there. And then I just go all the way down and then take the side without the felt tip and just feed it in a little bit. Hold the door. I'm just gonna let it focus quick. There we go. 
So I'm just going down the whole doorway and just pushing everything in. So you can see this right here is where the chrome meets the weather stripping. So that's where the, excuse me, that's where the cut's gonna be. And then, so right here, looks like it's starting to bridge. So essentially the wrap is tacked here and here. So what I like to do is peel it back so that way I can tuck it all the way in. Yeah, like without any tension. Yeah, right? so yeah. full coverage, no tension. The lack of tension is what gives you that longevity because it's not going to peel back, right? Correct. Right. Correct, right. yes. So this is your end right here. So just line it with your fingernail. And notice we haven't used any heat yet. Usually when you lay the first piece of the chrome delete, you don't necessarily need heat. Um, to finish tucking this in here and everything, I am going to run some heat on it before I cut it just to make sure nothing shrinks back. So. Same thing with the bottom, I'm gonna peel up. And then finish it out. <clears throat> so, usually the mirrors on cars will get in your way. Just kind of find a way to maneuver around it. Use your fingernail tip, just kind of push everything down. And here we'll finish out the bottom. The last thing I'll do is I will unstick it from the paint on the door all the way around. And then I'll take my squeegee and make sure that I feed it into the gap. So right here. And that's fed into the gap, essentially. Take your other side. <clears throat> so essentially this is what it should look like when it's laid before you cut it. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention for tools, uh, get a heat gun. I mean, Harbor Freight has like $30 heat guns. Just something that is a little bit more powerful than a hair dryer. You can use a hair dryer. I can't promise you it's gonna turn out great, but if you get just your average run of the mill heat gun, it'll do exactly what you need it to do. So basically this is just to seal everything. So make sure it's warm. And then I kind of go around, take my finger, outline that. So I'm gonna go down the whole thing now and then I'll come behind it with a squeegee. So you can see kind of how it's releasing any tension. If there was any tension, we didn't pull or stretch anything. So it's pretty much just getting the film to relax into the area. And then I'm just taking this and just feeding it down into there. So after you heat it, take your squeegee. You can do the felt side or the other side. And then essentially I'm just pushing it into the groove. So I'm just doing some final tucks right before I cut. So I'm just taking my tuck tools, outlining everything all the way through here. So what I'll do is I'll do the bottom cut first. So this is a brand new blade. If it wasn't a brand new blade, always crack your blade before you cut. It doesn't matter if you're cutting on the paint, if you're cutting in the gaps, whatever it may be, just crack your blade because that's when it's the sharpest, when it's freshly cracked. So for this particular one, I'm just gonna cut in the gap right here. And essentially the way I'm gonna angle my blade is like this. So I'm not cutting down here because then I would be cutting on the paint. I'm not cutting straight up because I don't wanna cut it short. So I'm gonna cut it at angle up a little bit. And pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the edge of the blade right on the paint as I cut. So this plastic part is what's touching the paint and not the blade. Focus so we'll just start the cut right here just to show you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me know when you're I'm good, I'm good, yeah. So just tucking it in a little bit in the groove. There we go. And I'm not really pushing, I'm just using the weight of the blade and the fact that it's a sharp, clean blade. Going around.
peeled back. And then actually this is a good example of, so this is the liner that comes on top of 3M films. So you can install it with this on, you can peel it off if you want. The reason this is on here is to prevent you scuffing the film or scratching it up during install. So big sheets of 3M, whether it be like a full color change, they all have this on it. You can install it with this on, but essentially I finished the cut. So I'm gonna go to right where I started. You can see there's a little bit of a lip still there. And that lip is what I'm gonna take with my fingernail and tuck underneath and then I'm gonna heat everything to seal it in. So use your fingernail, kinda outline the corner. So that's the corner this. spot right there. And then take your blade and usually what I'll do is I'll just make a very fine little cut to start it out I do know who they are So that's the bottom cut done. So this is that line arrow I was telling you guys about, so we're just gonna take it off before I make the cut on the top. So I'm making the cut right now, right on the edge of the weather stripping and the chrome strip. And down, this is a brand new crack blade. This hand is pretty much supporting so you can see right on the edge of the chrome strip and the weather stripping. So this is essentially what it looks like when it's cut. So you can see weather strip right here. And then this is what the chrome piece was. <clears throat> you forgot to say essentially. What's your favorite phrase that you say? As you can see. As you can see. Yeah. Punches As you can see. And <laughs> punches the camera. <laughs> finish off this cut here. So essentially it's cut out. Now all you have to do is just your final little tucks. So tuck tool. And then pretty much what I'm doing is just tucking kind of the rest of it in. So a little bit of an angle. And I'm pretty much tucking it into the weather strip. And then around the mirror, just kind of figure out the best way to maneuver. All right, so door strip is all finished. We're gonna do this big chrome strip right here. So you can do this in one whole piece. There is a natural break in it right here. So we're just gonna use that natural break and we're gonna stop the strip here and then this itself will be a separate piece. So this is a three piece essentially side. So peel your liner back. Well, I thought you were gonna come over here, but. No, I was showing that it's three pieces. Oh. <laughs> so. so start. Give yourself a little excess so the chrome delete strip ends here. Give myself about like half an inch excess. Okay, now as I peel off, I push down. So I'm going on the top corner, so I'm not pushing the bottom down. And essentially that's how I'm gonna get this angle. So I'm just getting the top essentially to stick. So you're gonna have little fingers like that, that's okay. We're gonna use the heat to relax those. So 
Same thing up here. finish it off so right here got little fingers little fingers right here and then got probably our most fingers are right here so essentially fingers mean that the wrap has tension this way so you can see it kind of looks like a finger so pretty much all the tension in the wrap is going this way right so I'm gonna push the top in so with these what you do is grab your heat gun And then you're going to hold it, so I'm literally just holding it up with my fingers, I'm not pulling or anything. So hold it up, see how the fingers kind of went away, and then I'm just going to give it a little kiss of heat. And then I'm just going to let it lay back down. That's no pull, that's literally just heat and lay back down. And you can see all the fingers kind of went away right there. So you can see it looks nice and smooth. There's no tension right here because I didn't pull down, I just laid. So that heat kind of just removes the tension yep, and allows you to lay it? Yep, heat the tension away. Gotcha. So same thing with this one up here. Pulling it off, little kiss of heat, then right back down. Then kind of push that out. So no tension. Let's go into these areas. So I'm always heating from my hands to the area. Right back down. So top section is done. The strip here is done. So we're just gonna apply this last little piece here. Um, again, towel with alcohol on it. I'm just gonna clean up everything, including the area surrounding the chrome, just because for this one, we're gonna apply a piece that's about this big so it covers this whole thing in one piece so it looks uniform. So pieces right here. Essentially, this one is gonna be a little short if we apply it this way. So we're just gonna tilt it a little bit and it's gonna get applied like this so it covers the chrome all the way around. This is Avery Dennison gloss black vinyl. So you can apply this any direction. It is not directional. So pretty much just making sure the whole thing is laid and there's no silver or chrome showing. Just gonna wipe it down a few more times and then I will apply it. You can stop the camera. I'm just gonna be roll though. <laughs> you can stop the camera. <laughs> you, can, you can stop the camera. So I started right here, so this is the break. Essentially I got this corner down, went up, and then I'm taking my fingers and I'm kind of just laying this down. So it looks like it's going to be a little short, so I'll just have to maneuver it a little bit. So the good thing about Avery is it's very maneuverable. Way short <laughs> well, that will be cut. <laughs> that looks right. Yeah. So cover the angle here, cover the angle here, and covering the angle here. So start at the corner and then kind of work your way to the ends. So I'm just gently kind of pushing the vinyl down. 
that's covered. Same thing with up through here. Just gently kind of pushing the vinyl down. So that's covered. So this right here is your whole chrome piece. So I got the middle strand, now I'm gonna get the top and bottom. And when you start applying this, you'll notice that there's pressure here now. So to relieve this pressure, you can make a cut right here. Now the window is behind this, so I would take your hand, very short blade, just kind of give it a little nick on both sides. So didn't cut the window. Every time you cut, push the vinyl up off the window. And then, just gonna cut out this portion. So I'm leaving a lot of excess here so I can still tuck it and then I'll do the actual cut on it. So the other thing you want to do when you are making relief cuts is turn it into like a semicircle. If you just do it to a point here and you pull, it's going to rip the vinyl where that point is. So once I get down to more tension, take this and then round the cut out like that. So now this, if I pull on it, it won't cause a tear right where that's cut. If it was a straight line and I pulled, it would continue tearing where that straight line was. So I'm just going to cut off all this excess. And Avery does not have a backing on it or does not have the cap sheet. So essentially that was that little piece that we peeled off of 3M. Avery doesn't have it. So cutting and tucking portion is essentially the same as everything else. I like to use the non-buffered side and I'll push it all the way up against the weather stripping and then push down. And then for the cut, the exact same way that it was on the front. So just do a couple of B-roll shots of the cutting, but pretty self-explanatory if you've already done the front part. All right guys, so that's how you do a chrome delete. Um, essentially, window trim all around was completed. There's gonna be some B-roll shots of kind of some of the tucking, and then we did the explanation of the cuts on here, but otherwise, take a peek. Um, let us know what else you guys wanna see for how-to videos, um, whether it's removals, chrome deletes, uh, how to wrap a door handle, for example, just whatever you guys want.